Hello, this is Erica, the admin of the Facebook groups Daily Kanji and Daily Japanese Grammar. This video is to show you how to use the screen capture tool to get a very large picture of a kanji or grammar point that you'd like to share in the group. There are files on the Files tab um, over on the left here in both the Daily Kanji and the Daily Japanese Grammar groups. And on this Files tab, you will find PDF files. For example, JLPT printable kanji flashcards PDF file. And in the Daily Japanese Grammar group, you will find um, JLPT grammar flashcards PDF file. Opening either of those PDF files will look like this. Either um, a large list of kanji for the kanji group, or a large list of grammar flashcards for the grammar group. So um, to capture a screen capture of these, you can, um, you can either just pick one from the screen or you can search for one. You can use gshow.org to type in a word, for example, vegetable, and then capture with control C on your keyboard the kanji, and then you can go over to the PDF file, this is the printable kanji flashcards, and use the find button to search for the kanji using control V to paste it. And it found it, so then I'm going to click off, unhighlight it, and zoom in quite a lot to fill the whole screen. Because this is a PDF file, you don't have to worry about it getting pixelated. You can see that you can zoom in basically forever, and there's no pixelation that you have to worry about. Uh, I'm going to refine it with this. Yeah. So just to recenter it. Oh, okay. Maybe it doesn't work. Okay. There we go. Okay. So just zoom in and then click off. And now that you've zoomed in to a thousand percent and it's very, very large, uh, you don't have to worry about the pixelation because this is a PDF. So you go over here to the snipping tool, or if you don't have it pinned, you can type in snip and click on the snipping tool. This is a free program that's on everything after I think Windows Vista. So it should be available for you. When you click on it, it'll say snipping tool over here and you click new and you drag the cursor around the area that you want to capture. So here. And then now you have this file that you can save, you can write on if you want to draw on it. And if you save this file to your desktop, then you can say maybe like, yes, I. And now this is a great um, image to then post in the daily kanji group. For the daily grammar group, you can simply go to a, a grammar that you like zoom in a lot, and then do the screen capture. Just a little bit too big, I'm just going to back out a little bit. All right, so you just do the snip and you go new, and then you can save it as a grammar. So um, also it's useful to when you're sharing a grammar, share the Japanese text for you entry. So you search for ni meiru Japanese text for you, and this hyperlink here is very useful to share in your post because um, it'll have a lot of the conjugation guides, and it'll um, have the meaning and the formation and example sentences. 実際は50歳もないそうだ。先生が… And they're very useful for people, so please do share these when you're sharing your posts. Alright, well that's how to take a screen capture using a snipping tool. I hope that this video was helpful.